Hello, my name is Mrs. Buitenbeentje. I'm here to tell you all about my passion for sewing and hope to inspire you to do the same, whatever it is, that wherever your passion lies. Because I don't have a finished project to show you, I would like to tell you about the journey up to the finished project. So if you would like to know more, stay tuned. My journey starts with choosing my pattern. So I start off with an example. I have this PDF pattern. It is the Penny Pocket A-Line Skirt. It was a free pattern from the So Now magazine. In this case, this journey would start with printing out my PDF pattern and then I use the pattern paper. I'm going to be inserting a dress that I made, which the video I called my trendy suede dress. I'm going to insert an eye right there so you can check it out. And I remember I filmed somehow how your once I'm finished with drawing out the pattern piece, laying it on the fabric, tracing it and cutting it out. The next step, I have some samples that I can show you. There is a pattern shop that I really, I mean a fabric shop that I really like to shop online. And I recently bought some fabrics and I decided to buy samples. So I bought a few, this is pleather. I usually pay 50 cents per sample. So I got this, I call this burnt yellow. I got this same pleather but in black that I really like. I got this jogging fabric that I thought, oh, it would be nice for a nice cozy jogging pants or maybe a sweater. So it's an army green. And I bought this, it's kind of, it's really thin though, but it has some uh, texture. And I think it's a trico jersey, a jersey knit. Or usually I buy samples before I buy the actual product or the actual fabric because once you order it you can't return it so I have my that is my third step and I buy all the extra essentials that I need so if my pattern tells me that I need a zipper or a button or whatever it is I make sure to place that in the order as well or I go to my local fabric shop if I bought this fabric I gotta make sure that I wash now I'm going to give you a tip it's really important to wash. However, I don't wash all the time. I usually wash <laughs> when I'm done, but it depends on the fabric because if it's prone to shrinkage, I'm going to wash it in advance. That is definitely something that I would, would do. But if it's cotton, I usually don't wash it in advance. Once my fabric is washed, I'm going to insert a picture right there to show you um, how I lay my pattern on the fabric so this is a sample of something that I did I traced the pattern and then I placed it on the fabric and I cut it out the next step for me and this is something totally optional for you is I trace with thread this is something that my sewing teacher taught me and I have everything that I need on both sides and then I'm ready to sew this definitely this video is definitely different but honestly i was kind of out of inspiration because i have had a very busy month and i have yet to start with my august project <laughs> i still have a few days left for august and hopefully i'll be able to work some magic and have something done as always i enjoy making this video i hope you enjoy watching don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey Thank you for showing some love on my, um, on my videos and thank you for subscribing. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and have a great, great day. Bye.